Hello, today I want to show you how to download bathymetry data for a specific area from the GEBCO website. It's the General Bathymetric Chart of the Oceans and you go to gebco.net and once you're on the website you scroll down a little and you find the gridded bathymetry data. You click on read more and you first find the global grid files and then if you scroll down you find the possibility to select a user-defined area. That's what we want to do. So you click on the image, you get to the GBCO data download app, and you'll see a mask where you can enter your boundaries and select your format on the left and a map on the right. So there are two possibilities to select your area. It's either by entering the boundaries on the left or by selecting it on the map. If you move your cursor, you can see the coordinates on the top right. So here we go, for example, to the Mediterranean. We zoom in a little. Um, and then to select your area, simply press the control or the command on the Mac and you click and drag with your mouse. So we select, for example, the area around Sardinia and you see that automatically there are the boundaries on the left side. Or if you want to manually type them in here, you can also do that, for example, to select the area around Sicily. Um, you will see that the box appears on the right. Then we can select our format. We can choose between 2D net CDF, GOD for S3 ASC format, and then also between grid and SID grid. The SID grid is a source identifier grid. That is a grid that comes with a metadata file that tells you if the values are from bathymetric soundings or if they are predicted values. In our case, we choose the GeoTIFF grid. And then further down, you can see a summary of your data selection. And you can go to Add to Basket. And now you could also select another area and add that to the basket as well. Then you go to View Basket. You see your selected area. You go to Download your data then it's either generated automatically or you have to enter your email, such as I'm doing now. And then you can click here to get a download link and then you can download your data and open it with ArcGIS, QGIS, so Open Data, um, Ocean Data Viewer. And if you want to use the data, it's important to also reference them properly from the GVCO site. And that's how easy it is. Have fun with your GBCO data.